Jackalee just asked, I, want, I need to know, can you set up camera distance in this game? I get it's a huge-ass world, but I don't like my character looking so tiny. I don't think so. I didn't see anything like that. Uh... Performance and quality, colorblind, image HDR calibration, which would probably just be brightness and contrast. Yeah, no, there doesn't look like there's anything like field of view. Tells you about holding Apollo's arrows or not. No. Allows you to toggle the camera to follow the main character by changing its rotation style. What happens if you hit off? Nothing, apparently. It's exactly the same. Doesn't seem to have changed at all. I don't get it. <laughs> no, I don't see anything. No, I don't think so. I think you're kind of stuck, uh, Jackalese, with what, what you got. So, this looks like the natural way up here. The wind's colder all of a sudden. Bunch of items. Generic crappy enemies, and I'm just gonna ignore them because there's nothing else here. I'm just gonna keep climbing. Probably won't follow me. Whoa, what is this area? Check this out. Oh my, what's this gonna be? What did I just stumble into, dude? Oh god. I might not be ready for this. I don't even know what's going on. Just then, Ozomini, terror of the isles, scourge of the skies, abductor of Nike, swooped in. What the hell? Ozomini? A mythical harpy. the ability to air dash now, if you remember. Whoa! That was not cool. Oh, shit! Whoa! Uh, I'm getting destroyed. Now there's little ones. This is not good. What the? Dude, she hits for almost my whole health bar. Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to kill her. I can't even do any damage. And she hits for my whole health bar. Again! Oh, come on, again? Thunder once. Wow, I jumped over, still got her. Oh my God.
can't stun her. Where'd she go now? She teleported away. Where'd she go? Well, there she is. Block. I'm just trying to kill the minions now. You know, I can't kill those. Oh my god. This is pretty nuts. Well, she got all her stun re rejuvenated. Are you fucking serious? Where is she? She disappeared. Wait, she got stunned? Why did she get stunned? I didn't hit her. Are you kidding me? That was my opportunity to hit her and do damage, and there was no I didn't know what was going on. Oh my god, yo, come on, broken. How was I supposed to know that? So what ca I don't even know what caused her to be stunned. I have no idea. But why did her meter suddenly fill up out of nowhere? This really sucks, dude. Was it because I killed all her minions, maybe? Maybe she gets stunned to kill all the minions? Yeah, it, okay. When you kill a minion, it adds to her stun meter. So the goal is to stay away from her and attack the minions until the stun meter's full and then go get her. Dude, what the hell? Oh, how was that fair? Yep, and then she summoned more. See that? Oh my god. She's almost stunned now. What the f- Dude, I couldn't dodge. You know, look how much she hits for. I can't dodge. This is ridiculous. I can't heal now either. I'm trying. Why can't I hit her? She's right in front of me. She has full stun, and she's not stunned. What is going on here? Full stun, but not stunned. Okay, now she's stunned. I'm doing zero damage to her. What the hell? Yo, look how much health she has! I can't beat her now. No way. Yo, there's no way. She has way too much health. I can't defeat her. I gotta come back later. I definitely gotta come back later. This is not meant to be done for me for now. No way. No fucking way. So, I gotta come back here with full health potions and way more strength. There's no way I can kill her right now. This is this big stormy area here. See this? I don't know what this is supposed to be. How much money if you kill her, you unlock something here? Probably. But this is not meant to be done right now. Exactly, Arbitrary Albatross, if I had the ability to pull you to enemies, that would be way easier. I could be zipping right to the flying enemies and attacking them, yeah. So that is not for me right now. There is a, uh, down to my left there is a Ambrosia I can grab. I think it's way down there at ground level. Straight ahead, it's probably it down there. Or slightly to the left, yeah. 
Oh my god. Oh, there it is. Maybe I can just land right on top of it. Excuse me, by the way. That was disgusting. Said it. Now, did it mark that on my map as a, a huge boss encounter? No, it didn't. It didn't. But now at least I know. Now I know there's a giant boss encounter here. Maybe I should... Should I permanently put a pin there? Permanently put a pin there to know there's a giant boss encounter for later in the game. Yeah. Oh, all right. So, did we ban this idiot who was cheering earlier? Because they were fucking annoying me now. I'm seeing the cheers. I'm like, what the fuck is this nonsense? Something down there, but it doesn't look interesting. It just looks like, uh... Just some pomegranates. Okay. Alright, so what I should do... I should fast travel... Back to the... To this statue. I believe that that statue... Yes, I was gonna say, I can craft some more health potions because I use them all during that crazy ass fight. Um, then I can grab this Ambrosia and then we can just head north and do this next part of the story, which I haven't done story in a million years. Here we go. Cool. Okay. Huh. Well, at least we now know there's gonna be some pretty epic fights in the game, right? That was nuts. She was hitting for so much damage and then she had so much health. Such an insane health pool. That even stunning her wasn't really effective. I wasn't really hurting her, so... Had to give up for now. There we go. Alright, let's definitely craft. I can only craft six. I gotta find more pomegranates. Okay. Gotta find more pomegranates. Keep that animation. No one cares. Ooh. I'm not ignoring you. I'm ignoring the idiots. Like, this guy asked me if I collect Gungan figures. The fuck is a Gungan figure? I've never heard of it. You know I've never heard of it. You're probably getting me to say something stupid. Something dumb. I'm not going to say something dumb. Stamina in the back. I see it. It's out there. When I get to it, maybe I'll use it as a viewpoint. Hello, beautiful butterfly. Good evening. There we go. Yeah. Ambrosia. All right. Not really seeing anything new at all. Now, where was the giant heart? Because we have the music for it. Oh, if I fast travel and I jump down, we could go right to it. We should do that. I'm going to unmark this. Yeah, we should do that. Because I want to see get the, get the harp reward, whatever it is. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck a Gungan is. What was that from? Tell me what it's from immediately. I, I demand to know. What is a Gungan? Anyone know? <laughs> uh, okay, where am I going for this uh, harp? Down here. 
down here? Right down here, I can send this pedestal down here. Let's go faster. <sighs> That is a big ass heart. Yes, sir. Indeed, it is. Let's grab some of these pomegranates. Since I need them now for uh, potions. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, shit. There's four leg fucking slap. There's four now. In the first area, there were only three. And I don't think I know where the fourth one is. Yeah, I don't see it on the map, so I don't know where to go to get the fourth one. Shit. Nope. I guess I'm just going to have to explore further, huh? I'm just going to have to explore further. Alright. In this case, instead of doing all this exploration... Let, cause yeah, see, I did this one. I did that one. I did the one today. And then there was one down here that we had already done, too. There were three... In this region? There it is. Yeah, I don't know where the hell the fourth one is. Fuck. That's frustrating. Anyway, let's do the story. Let's just do the story, folks. Let's see what this apple shit is. Muse, tell me the deeds of golden Aphrodite, who subdues mortal men and birds in air, and the creatures on land and sea. Grant me a song. Stir up my sweetest passions. Hey, watch it, buddy. That's my daughter-in-law you're talking about. Uh -huh. I'm trying to mash and do it, but the problem is the haptic feedback actually makes it hard to do like this way. What's funny is you can see through shit. It's so weird. I'm seeing through walls and shit to find this stuff. Doesn't really make much sense. Alright, I guess that's it. And the answer is no. I don't know where the, the next harp is. We didn't find it. Okay, Gungan is a detractor meme. Sounds good. Uh, excuse me. Alright. Oh, listen, the apple tree talks. Oh, wait a minute. It's not because it's not an apple tree. It's a god that was transformed, remember? I forgot that they said that the gods were all transformed. Let's get ahead. The giving tree. Me, Aphrodite. Aphrodite became this apple tree. It's a... happen to be Aphrodite. Why, yes, I am. Pleasure to humbly make your acquaintance. Phoenix, sorry, I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your, uh, arboreal state, you're beautiful. That's sweet of you to say, but the only mirror I gaze into these days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But, alas, my roots keep me anchored here. So that's why Typhon did this to you. So you can't use your beauty to move ships or inspire bravery in battle against him. Huh. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. 
She did not just say that. <laughs> formed now. My old essence locked away in a vault, wedged under my largest root, <laughs> which is for the best. Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. To feed the hungry, of course. Well, my roots were as a pretty bad farmer, so I know how to herb plants. Salt, it shrivels them up. Mm -hmm. oh, would that work? But of course, my roots are not ordinary. They're primal, powerful. So we'll need... Uh, mythical salt water? Oh, oh! This is in the prophecy! A pearl in rough seas! You are a pearl born from rough seas! The salty sea foam from your birth! Yes! What an inspired proposal! But I <laughs> couldn't possibly trouble a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What Remember, you guys want a story asked tonight. To you asked for this. If a stranger asked to be troubled, then <laughs> I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. Here's how to conjure seafoam from my birthplace. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Grandpappy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it... That's definitely uh... the story. Okay. I'm sure that's how it went uh, down. Got it. Knock a pearl into the ocean really hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Well, this is weirder than the time Demeter turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite, sweet and charitable. No more mischief? Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. Right. So, I guess we gotta make this our main quest. How do we do that? How do we mark off quests? Uh... I don't know. Ah. The Valley of Eternal Spring was nestled in the most beautiful part of the Golden Isle, but its gorgeous scenery hid the ugliest of secrets. Roll the pearl to the ocean. So I guess there's a giant pearl we need to roll maybe down this pathway into the ocean. See that? How there's like a river path? I guess so. And I, what I'm assuming is, you know, you have to get over there. So I guess on the way we'll do other stuff, right? All right. All right, well, more <laughs> more world exploration. What's that purple thing over there? Well, that's probably just some of the purple components, but I'll take it anyway. Right? Sitting there, it's not defended at all. All right. Anything else? Or should we just head into the next challenge dungeon? No, I guess we just head right in. We turn this off now. Yeah, we'll head into the next challenge dungeon. Okay. What's my favorite Shrek movie? Oh my god. I don't really remember ma many or any of them. I remember you know, maybe the first one because I don't remember the others. Hit the bull. I tried to dodge and I didn't have stamina. Good. 
Sure. Okay. Did I watch The Matrix? Yes. Matrix 1 I saw many, many times. Matrix 2 and 3 I saw in theaters. Matrix 2 I actually liked. Matrix 3 I absolutely hated. <laughs> The path to Erebos. This is a level two challenge. So we gotta dodge lasers. Remember, one of the abilities is if you level up the dash enough, you can dash right through lasers. They don't affect you at all. Vaporized. Son of a bitch. What my favorite Rocky? That's another tough question. <clears throat> the first one's all right. I never like Ro like Rocky two. <clears throat> and four. Even though a lot of people hate on four, I like four. The one where he fights Ivan Drago. What? You can't stand on the block in the middle. It kills you. Now, how would I have known that? How on earth would I have known that you can't stand on the block? That's absolutely ridiculous. Fuck all that. Checkpoint. Here's the optional chest over there. Ooh. That was easy. So... Where is the optional chest? I saw it. It's gone now, though. I can't see the light from it anymore. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Where did the optional chest go? It showed the light out in the distance earlier. Now it seems to have vanished completely. Is that it right there? I think that might be it, but I don't know how to get high enough. There's gotta be a way to scale up here then, if that's the case. There's got to be a way. There's a block. There's blocks over there. See this? How the hell could I get high enough to get over to that chest? There's gotta be something to this. I'm either not seeing or I, you know what I mean? Like, there's something here. I pressed the wrong button. I need X, not, not square. I would have had it if I had pressed X. So I'm gonna get this. Yeah. You need the up jump, the up jump. Which I have. I have the, the jump that goes up. The spike thing, whatever it's called. Okay, ready? Oh, 
I couldn't hover there. Why not? I should have been able to. Hmm. Tricky. Yeah, so you can glide after. I knew it. Okay. Okay. I made it. Nice. Oh, what is this? What? What the fuck? Where do I get an item to put on here? There hasn't been a single thing you can lift on this stage. What? There hasn't been a single item you can lift. What the hell do they want me to get? I don't see anything. What the fuck? That doesn't work. Why didn't the glide work there? So, somewhere along the lines here... Oh wait, could it be that? Oh shit, that's what it is, isn't it? It's that block there. I need to throw it over there. No, I can't grab it. Oh, you know what? I can't do this puzzle. You want to know why? Because it's actually an ability you have to unlock to grab the heavy blocks. And I don't have the ability to grab the heavy blocks. So, not only did you need the ability to use the spike jump to get up there, you also need the ability to grab the heavy block, and I don't have it. Well, there you go. It sucks. I don't get the optional thing there, but nothing I can do about it. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. If I could grab this, I would have brought it over here, tossed it way over there, and then went over there and been able to do it. Ugh, well. Shit. Shit. Bummer. Can't do it. I wonder if it would have been a good item, too. Now I'm, I'm upset. I'm very upset. Cat is fine, beautiful butterfly. She's very much looking forward to having a few days off of work. She's been working all weekend long. Every night. Well, this was easy. Wait. I just flew back to where I came from. Why did I do that? Where the hell is the end of the stage? What the fuck? Where the hell is the end of the stage? Because this is where I already came from. This is the thing I already did. I am so confused right now. That's the chest I can't get. Oh, wait a minute. It's up there. Look at that. So maybe I have to go back. Maybe I do have to go back. I think so, because I think what happened is I think these lasers changed. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
Yup, this, okay, I see. This is all different now. The whole thing changed here. The game done changed. There it is. You know, I had... Well, no, I was going to say, if I had crazy flight abilities, you could cheat and get to the chest. I mean, you could if you had infinite stamina, but you'd still need the heavy black lift ability to get that chest. All right, so not much I can do about that. Okay. Ugh. Good lord. Well, we got it done, but I'm mean, frustrated. I, I've gotten every, I've gotten every single optional chest so far except for that one. I couldn't do it, right? I just couldn't do it. Didn't have the ability. Sucks. So, it looks like it stays open. If you don't get the chest, it stays open and glows gold. See that? When you're completely finished it and you got all items, then it gets checked off. So, you know, you don't have to go back and waste your time. But if you haven't completely beaten it, it stays glowing gold. Okay. Alright, I say we, we go over here and we try to find this pearl. Huh? What do you guys think? Try to find the pearl? La, 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 la. So guys, roughly about another 20 minutes on the stream. I did start late tonight because there's a lot of uh, discussion, interaction earlier on on the stream. So I didn't necessarily get to start at the usual time. Um, and that's fine. Is that... Is that another boss? Like mini boss? Because it looks big, doesn't it? Could it be a second version of the same mini boss I already killed? <laughs> the Olympians think a pathetic army of demigods can stop me! I wonder if it is another flying legendary fight. It looks pretty big. It's not the same one. I'm in a different area of the map. Yup. Legendary Dark Vulture. It's probably going to end up the same as the other fight. Same as the other fight, I think. Well, I can't fight if it's not overground. High up there. Almost done. Tried to dodge, but I'd already attacked, so I don't think I could dodge after that. Actually, I think this is easier than the other one. This one doesn't seem to have any projectiles at all. Pretty good damage. Oh, I still got hit. Yeah, it doesn't hurt hit for any bunch of damage either. It's pretty easy. Yeah, this is way easier than the other two that I did. And it's certainly not it's anywhere near like the Harvey, although it's almost the same body design as the Harvey. Same explosion as the other one, see? But none of the projectiles. There's zero projectiles. So I inadvertently killed the harder version of this boss first. This 
this is along the path to the early story. This is probably meant to be like the first legendary spot. Even more damage. Look at that. That was like half the bar. Half the freaking bar. Okay, here we go. One more. Good night. Boom. Destroy. Very cool. That's what my fourth legendary I killed? I think so. Did I get anything for it? I got Phosphor the Patriarch. See, I keep getting all these birds, but I haven't completed the story where you can use the birds yet. Oh, there's, see, there's good stuff down there, but I don't want to go back down. I have to climb back up. It's annoying. All right, let's get to the, the story sits over here. Romy Road just cheers. I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima for the first time since I got PS5. It's amazing. I'm currently in Act 2. I have God of War next. Once it's completed, is your opinion which game is better? Oh, man, Ghost of Tsushima and God of War 2. Which game is better? Fuck, man. They're both kind of best in class. Um... And you know, they were both amazing games for the years that they were out. So, damn. I don't think I can make the choice right now. I don't think I can make the choice right now. Oh, that's right. So apparently, here's what you do. You do this. See what I'm doing? You crouch and you walk up slowly. And you let the horse approach you. And apparently if the horse approaches you, you can then mount it. But you have to, like, naturally do this like this. This is the only way to do it, apparently. See, the horse isn't running. Because I'm doing it slowly. Someone explain to me how to do this. Yup. So that's how you do it. Alabaster. And now I have a mount. Hold triangle to summon a tamed mount. There you go. So now I have my first mount for the night. Well, for the game, actually. Thank you to the person who explained that to me because the game never explained that at all. So I never would have figured that out. I wouldn't have understood that you could do that. Polish Fox has tamed a unicorn from, from that other stream. Well, it was like two streams ago. I mean, I could go back there eventually. Not doing that now. How you doing, bro? Oh, yes. How would you like another hammer right to the nuts? Every time I perfect dodge... Boom! Every time I perfect dodge, I get stamina back. Cyclopes away with the other titans, huh? Yes, he was afraid they'd overthrow him. There was a prophecy. Bored. Grandpappy made the right call. Those things are an eyesore. <laughs> Get it? Uh, the birth of Aphrodite is a gruesome tale. Nothing gruesome about it. 
Grandpa Yorgos and my deadbeat dad, Kronos, had a battle so great it severed heaven from Earth. <laughs> That's not all that was severed. During his surprise attack, Kronos descended on Uranus. When Earth was severed from heaven, there was a great earthquake that knocked a pearl loose from its oyster. Hang on, there was no... <laughs> the pearl flew from its oyster on land, and Uranus caught it and flung it out to sea with such a force that it caused the frothy foam to bubble. <sighs> okay. So we just gotta get this down to the water, and like I saw from the map, there's just a big sea, a big indentation here, like, a, like it looks like maybe there used to be a river here, and you can easily just push it down this way. You just gotta give it momentum. Timbo Snapper says, you suck, smile. I don't know what the fuck that means. Timbo Slice Tree says, what's the verdict? Is this the end? I don't know. I would say I had f I had fun tonight. And we did have interactions. We did have conversation tonight. So if you guys are okay with continuing to play through, I'm okay with continuing it. But again, it, it will we consistently have people coming out and liking the game or not. And people are going to say, oh, I hate it. It's boring. And complain constantly on playing it and not contributing. And basically the, the stream being a waste of time. And no, we're not going to keep doing it, you know? Tonight was was good. Tonight we had a lot of people out here. I told you guys it would be the make or break stream, so a bunch of people showed up. You know that doesn't necessarily mean that's gonna happen every time I play the game. So I guess we gotta see what happens, right? Do I have a favorite Muppet movie? Uh, Muppets Take Manhattan is my favorite Muppet movie. Oh, you fuckhead! This guy tried to get a cheap shot on me. Did you see that? She shot someone else. Continuing out with this pearl. <laughs> Here we go. People stop being very rude to people. All right. Tr now, for all you who are watching live, and again, for also also those of you who are watching this on demand on YouTube, be honest. Do you like the game, and do you think it's a good chill stream or not? Be honest. Actually, speak up and be honest because. You got people like Hippo Stabber who are being jerks. Oh, I don't think anyone really likes this. Maybe one guy, and that's it. Honestly, who likes this, right? Oh, look at this bullshit. Oh, I could break it. Never mind. That's easier than fucking fucking uh, throwing it. Some people like it. A lot of people are claiming they absolutely hate it. Then why are you here? No, I'm serious. Why are you here tonight? The whole point of tonight's stream was that to, if you like the game, to show up and support it. So if you don't like the game, why the fuck are you here? So I'm serious. Like, why the fuck are you wasting your time and my time? Why don't you just leave and come back when I'm playing something you like? I outright said tonight that depending on how many people showed up and engaged and, and supported the stream would determine if the game is played again. If you don't want the game to be played, why the fuck did you show up? You did the opposite. You literally did the opposite. You're a moron. <laughs> if you were here tonight you're, and you didn't like the game, you knew that. You're stupid. Oh my god. You just can't help some people from being completely dumb. I don't know what else to say. Uh. Oh, there's a third one. I see. 
Even if 55 says tonight because there's so many restreamers because they responded to see if the, if the game would die or not. They sent a ton of negative shitheads over to the stream to be real dicks tonight. It's like Hippo Stabber. Oh, okay. Now I understand. I get it. <laughs> so, some people here are saying, don't worry, it's actually good, okay? Get the fuck in there. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wait. They want me to go down there now? Okay. Collect some godly sea foam. <laughs> sure. There it is. The godly sea foam. From the sea foam. Aphrodite rose, full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. <laughs> oh, yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. And Kronos, they fought. You can't be serious. And then you want to visit your love wife as well. Fell into the sea. <laughs> That's. Because Kronos. Was it supposed to be one of Kronos' balls? Uh, you're right? sick, Prometheus. Do not talk to me. With this <laughs> I think it was. Uh, Phoenix resolved to return to Aphrodite with the key to her freedom and the vault. So I think so. I think if the real story is, wasn't it that Kronos like cut off his nutsack or something? And one of his fucking testicles rolled into the ocean and they called it a pearl. And then Aphrodite came out of it. It's like something really fucking weird and gross like that. <laughs> that's actually the, the true story. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm pretty sure that's the actual the actual mythology. Greek mythology is weird, man. There's a lot of fucking stupid shit in it. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. Um... Romy Road Series never thought of playing Ori and Will of the Wisps. I played Ori, the original one, Ori in the Blind Forest. And after one stream of it, no lie, everyone complained it was boring. And when I tried to play it a second time, everyone said stop playing it, so I stopped playing it. People apparently absolutely hated it and never wanted to see it ever again. So that was the end of that. So Tall Tantons made two cheers. The first cheer says there were only three donations all night. That's not positive. First of all, it's false. Maybe there were three tips. Actually, I think there were more than that. But tips are different than contributions. Contributions include everything. Cheering, subbing, tipping. And there actually were subs and cheers tonight as well, in addition to just some tips that came in. So what you're saying, you're trying to say only three people contributed. That's complete bullshit. That's 100% false. Okay? Now, admittedly, you're right in saying that maybe there were only a few large tips. I mean, Jackalese... Thank you for your very generous $80 tip. Obviously, that was a huge reason that we hit the tips goal. Duh. Um, common sense. But at the same time, if we hadn't hit the tips goal tonight, do you think more people might have been, you know, oh, maybe I'll contribute now to keep the game in the rotation? But since they saw the tips goal get hit, they were like, oh, okay, it's, it's okay now. I'll hold off and maybe later. I think that's kind of what happened, you know? Um, it wasn't, you know, there didn't need to be a rallying of a bunch of people contributing because we had one person who was super generous and made it happen relatively early in the course of the stream. Okay, that's what I feel. I could be wrong. Maybe if Jackalese had not tipped, no one would have tipped. And it would have been the end of the game for... Or, or, or Alright, let me put it this way. It would have been the end of the game if also people were complaining the game was boring. But I enjoyed playing tonight. Now we're actually doing a little bit of story. I feel it's a little bit better. I'm going to go grab the pomegranates. We need these pomegranates to make uh, potions. Right? Like I said, there's a lot of factors tonight. Did people show up? Yes, they did. Sadly, half of the people who showed up were annoying fucking trolls. They were just whining like bitches. Um, did people interact? That was undoubtedly a yes. Everyone tonight was engaged, interacting, talking to me. That's a good thing. 
because a lot of this stuff is not super engaging if you're just playing gameplay wise but actually having the conversation allowed this to be a much better stream i feel okay <clears throat> okay uh tall tangent shoot against i i personally i think this is actually a uh, game of the year behind bug snacks for 2020 but we honestly can't say that three tips at all was positive yes we can yes we can <laughs> you've returned you sweet creature do you have the seafoam right here oh aren't you good please take my blessing for all your hard work aphrodite's embrace what does this do <clears throat> some kind of a new special ability now quick pour the foam on my roots the sooner i can move the sooner i can expand my apple care apple care talking about freaking an apple reference foam, apple phones I was so <gasps> fabulous no there's too many cuddly creatures that need my help it keeps me awake at night just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes and those noses those quivering wet noses no uh oh oh someone's not too happy about this <laughs> Fast and will not let me do my move, so I'm just gonna fucking run. Uh, I don't want to waste health, but I guess I have to. He's almost dead. All because of my because I have the giant heavy hammer swing. It's so damaging. Okay then. <laughs> what just happened? Typhoon must not like you. Though I couldn't possibly imagine why. Whenever anyone defies him, he sends one of his raids. And that raid delegates responsibility, as raids tend to do, to shades. So the challenge that completed. just appeared so... wasn't really Achilles? Goodness, no! The true Achilles is far more dashing. Oh, you're telling me. He's hiding in a lair nearby. Until he's defeated, his shades will reappear on this part of the island. Is huh. there ever any good news? Well, the sea foam worked, and uh, I'm able to move my roots. One of them was actually blocking Achilles' lair. I can't help but the other three raids, though. Heracles, Atalanta, and Odysseus. Oh, you know what they say. Bad things come in fours. No one says that. No one says that. The <laughs> crowd. What about the root blocking your essence? It's just that some people I care about have been turned into stone, so I'm quite keen to. No. No. Uh, for some reason, that root is still firmly in place. Uh, thank you for your concern. But what matters is I can start delivering apples. All the animals will be fed in no time. Let's get to it. Thank you kindly for all your help. Many happy returns. But I... So she can move now. That She's not strange. a tree anymore. I can't keep standing idly by. 
Sorry, I mean busily preparing anymore. You have to bring Aphrodite back to her beautiful snarky self before I go crazy. By the gods, where did you come from? Behind you? Does it matter? Don't worry about me. Focus on finding another way to shrivel that root. So what? Saltier, more mythical water? <laughs> Actually, wait. What about Aphrodite's tears? Didn't she cry at the death of Adonis? They'd be salty and powerful. I have a couple really of those. You know your stories, kid. Her tears just might work. If you put them directly on the root, blocking off her essence. Now, where did Typhon hide them? You should search the vaults of Tartarus. Yeah, we already found back. two. There are three crystallized or three? tears. Oh, maybe I found them already. I actually found those already. Yeah, I did. With all three tears collected, Phoenix set off to shrivel Aphrodite's most stubborn root and open her vault. Ah. Uh, yes. Too easy. Forget it. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so blessings or perks obtained by gathering favor from the gods. So there's something new now. Yeah, it's totally new. Look at this. Refills all health chunks when health is depleted while, when in combat. 20 minute cooldown. So every 20 minutes, if you're about to die, you get one free full auto heal. Obviously, that's huge, right? Obviously, especially for boss fights and stuff. You don't know how much damage the boss deals. It's huge. Look at this. These are new ones you get. Being hit once does not reset the combo meter. Ignores damage from the first hit taken after using any buff potions. Interesting. All right. Good stuff. So, the truth of the matter is, just looking around now. Oh, look at this. Change? I, I need to get more horses. Okay. Uh, just looking around and doing the vaults, I actually helped myself to jump ahead in the, in the story. Also, I would have had to go back and do those vaults. But I've already done them. So now I can just go right to the next leg of the story. I'm actually being told by someone who apparently is very familiar with the game that I should actually go over here and do this, the, the bird thing first. I've already killed, what, three, four legendaries? And in my inventory, I think it says I have... Actually, it doesn't list... For some odd reason, it doesn't list it in your inventory. But I know I've killed, like, three or four, and I think I have those birds. They don't show up here for some reason. I guess I don't know where the hell they show up, the birds. Unless they're in maybe the abilities menu. No, uh, they show up somewhere, but I don't have them. I, I can't use them yet. So, I think what we'll do is next time around when I play this, because yes, I will say, after tonight, since tonight was an engaging night, since people hung out with me, we had fun, we talked, and yes, because some people contributed, I say we will do another stream of this, this later this week, probably on Wednesday night, okay? Um, likely, maybe what I should do is, is definitely go see the bird then. Since we've already advanced this plot a little bit, so maybe I should go... Oh, what's this? After Aphrodite's roots were shriveled, the entrance to Achilles' lair has been uncovered, where his wraith waited sword in hand. So if I go do this... What they said is, they said randomly those wraiths of Achilles are going to appear all around this eternal spring until I do this. So maybe I could do this, and then I can head north and do this and find out what I use those birds for. And then go back over here and do this. That's probably my, my plan of attack then. Get rid of a kill. Wait, what's this now? When in Olympos, Hermes up to his usual tricks is a little surprise waiting for Phoenix behind a magical portal in the Clashing Rocks. What's hiding in there? A piece of Olympos? Yeah, right. Hmm. That just appeared out of nowhere. Okay. So we've unlocked a lot of stuff, actually. Yeah, we have unlocked a good amount of stuff here. Um, for next time around when I play. A, a couple shout-outs here. Um, Mozales did 100-bit cheers. So I see a talking tree. I slice her like I'm Jin, Sak Jin Sakai, slicing through bamboo and rope. That tree has... I will have a panic attack next time she sees me. That shit is scary. Thanks for the cheer, Mozales. <laughs> Taltons. I don't know who the fuck Brian Peppers is, and I'm not even going to bother with this. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. That was a good stream. And let me save my game, actually, before I freaking forget, because I might forget if I don't do it right now. Um, I will continue the playthrough. But again, the continuance of the playthrough and how long I play it is going to be directly dependent on if people continue to show up and kind of and support the playthrough. You know what I mean? Tonight, we had that. 
Now, of course, we had a lot of people on stream because of the trolls, but there was also genuine interactions and, and, and fun conversation and support. If we can keep that up, I'd love to do this as late night chill streaming. All right? So hopefully we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll do it again in the middle of this week coming up. We'll see what happens and, and see if we want to keep it in the rotation or not. Okay? So in regards to that, thank you to the top cheer of the night, 672. Thank you to Jack Lee's for the insanely very, very supportive $80 tip. Uh, I do appreciate all of your, your help and contributions here, okay? Thank you very much, guys. All right, so that's going to be it for tonight. I'm going to upload this right now. Thank you, everyone, for watching, okay? And especially you on guys on YouTube as well. I got a lot of feedback, obviously, from the stream chat tonight. Those watching on YouTube on demand, let me know as well on my Twitter, at they call me DSP. Do you like this playthrough? Do you want to see this continue, or would you prefer if I actually did something different? You know, some of the options we're tossing around is like Man Eater or taking Yakuza 7 to a late night stream and splitting it up so that I have more focus on, on Hitman this coming week or whatever. Let me know in the comments. No, excuse me. Let me know in tweets. Can't comment. Let me know in tweets what you think. All right. Shout out to Daz Matt, who subscribed to the channel tonight. Thank you guys very much for a good stream and supportive stream, and I really appreciate that. Thank you.